How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in today's video we're going to be diving into tactical arbitrage. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, source products faster. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks as far as increasing those profit margins um, and it's really just going to be all about, I'm going to show you my workflow, um, exactly how I look through tactical arbitrage and I'm able to find leads as fast as I think is possible with tactical arbitrage. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into that. Before we do that, I just want to say that only about 25% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, hit the button down below. It's free. It helps me out and I'm going to help out your business. So just help me out. Click that button. Thanks guys. So this is what tactical arbitrage looks like right here. Uh, this is just your regular product search. So you're going to plug in a website and then, um, give it a category or you can use the easy bulk feature, uh, to go ahead and throw in some other items. So for this example, I'm going to be using iHerb. They have a 25% off coupon on for your first order so what you can do to kind of game that system is just uh, use several different email addresses and then you can make some burner email addresses which you might use those burner email addresses in your other online sourcing um, because it's pretty often that these stores will have welcome coupons or that kind of thing for a new email address so go ahead and try making some burner emails. I use those for iHerb. I have a couple of replenishables with iHerb and I'll just buy a bunch at one time, use a new email and I get 25% off. Um, so you're just going to throw in whatever you want. I'm just going to use the easy bulk feature over here and select all of it. So this is going to go ahead and select uh, 300 and 307 categories. Oh, hang on. It looks like I had a search here. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this. So now my easy bulk is empty. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, 500 categories here and it's going to add these to bulk. And so what this is going to do is it's going to pull these top 500, put it into a tactical arbitrage search here, and it's going to search all these categories. And then the real magic happens down here in this discount box. So we're discounting it by 25% because of that coupon, the cash back. Uh, you can usually get two-ish percent uh, at least using Ebates or that kind of stuff. Um, and then you're also going to have your credit card cash back. I use uh, a credit card with 1%. You Sometimes you can get uh, up to 2%. Um, I like to collect miles or whatever, so I've got 1.5 on some of my cards with mileage. Um, then you're also going to plug in your sales tax if you're not exempt at the site you're sourcing at. And then down here, um, these are my basic filters here. Uh, it's between 9 and 200. I don't want to flip crazy expensive or crazy cheap products. Um, if the number of sellers is too high, I don't want to sell it. Uh, you want to have a couple reviews because that also helps establish uh, the fact that it could actually be selling and then a decent rating three is pretty low but you don't want a horrible product that's going to get returned a bunch um, down here you're going to plug in whatever it costs you to prep your stuff um, mine's about one or it's about 10 cents a product um, and then I've also got my uh, let's see here I've got my uh, per pound shipping to Amazon there at 30 cents um, that's a pretty high estimate I always tend to go higher rather than lower on these things because you want to make sure that um, you're actually going to be profitable um, and not uh, underestimate your costs. Um, and then I also do a $3 minimum of gross profit and 35%. Um, that's pretty standard. So the real magic here comes in when you're looking at your data. So I've got it pulled up, all those iHerb items that I went ahead and searched. Uh, it would take a little bit to go ahead and search through those items. I've already gone ahead and done that. Um, so this is what showed up. I've, I've grabbed a couple products, but I haven't looked through these leads yet. Um, so I figured it might be useful for me to just uh, live with you guys, go ahead and sort through these, um, kind of talk out how I can eliminate leads as I go. Um, so right here, I see that the Keepa graph is a little iffy on the sales, but the price differential here is interesting. So I'm going to just go ahead and click through here. We've got two sellers. This immediately tells me it could be a private label product or a product that they protect pretty well. So you got one seller here. You can get rid of this one. Um, if it's got one or two sellers, it's probably private label or really well protected by the brand. So you don't want to mess with those. So this product is gone. Um, this next one right here. Uh, this. So this is another thing you want to look out for when you're sourcing. This is a one pack here, pretty obviously. And then over here, we got three bottles. You can go ahead and skip this. So if you see things like that, you can save yourself the time of clicking through and checking the link. Um, we've also got this here. It looks like Amazon's kind of in and out of this one, but if it's if the price is right, I might be interested. I'm gonna go ahead and check this out here. I've got 60 capsules, uh, 23 minus that 25% off, and then here we've got 120. So it's a mismatch. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This Kipo looks a little weird, but if the uh, flip is decent, I'm, I might be interested here. So we've got it for $23, and then here we've got it for uh, 1075 minus our 25%, so it'd be about 7 to $8 after tax. 
Um, we've got it pretty consistently at $20 here. I can sell it. This is a Chrome extension called key, uh, Check Permission. I, I got it a long time ago. I got like a lifetime license. I think it's $10 a month, but it really saves a lot of time when you're sourcing OA. So it's definitely worth that $10 a month if you want to go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm not even affiliate with them. I just really think that this plugin is really useful. Um, so this might actually be kind of interesting. We want to make sure this is the same thing here. Mattifying Treatment Primer modifying treatment primer we're going to go ahead and run a profit calculation here um, and this is just another free chrome extension it's called the amazon fba calculator um, so right now it's selling for 23 but in the past it's been selling for 20 um, so you always want to be a little more conservative so i'm going to try 20 just in case the price goes back down um, and we're going to be getting it for uh, 1075 times 0.75 uh, 1075 times 0.75 is eight dollars plus tax and my state is about 10%. So I'd be paying about 880. So after prep and everything, it'd be a little over $9. So I'm just gonna do 9.2, uh, just to be um, conservative there. Um, and even at $20, this is a pretty good flip. Um, this product right here would be decent. Let's see how many sales we can get every month. So I'm gonna use this Jungle Scout Chrome extension here. Um, this is a paid extension. Uh, again, it's a big time saver. You don't need it right off the bat, but you'll probably want it in the long run. Um, so right here we're seeing 17 monthly sales or 15 monthly sales. So it's a pretty slow seller. Uh, if you look at the Keepa, it kind of confirms this. Um, each one of these drops is probably a sale, um, probably no more than that. Um, sometimes each drop can represent a lot of sales if it's um, lower in the sales rank. But once you get up this high, this is probably one sale per. So we can go ahead and look at the monthly and kind of see if Jungle Scout's right. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 I count 12 sales so 15 is about right so you might pick up 5 to 10 units of this um, the margins on this is pretty good 22% um, margin that's like a 50% ROI um, this is a pretty slow seller uh, but you could go ahead and check this out I'm gonna pass on this I like high volume and I prefer lower margin high volume rather than these uh, high margin uh, low volume products but here you go here's a lead for you if you want to go ahead and check it out um, iHerb Julep Blank Canvas Magnifying or Mattifying Treatment Primer. So we got a product right here. I'm gonna go ahead and heart this. I save all the leads that look good or are close to good. Um, and then I can go back uh, once a month or so and check and see if there's a coupon or anything on those websites that knocks it down uh, just, to, just enough that it um, is profitable. So then we're also gonna just keep going here. It looks like um, you can see this starts to say two pack here at the end so we're gonna skip um, this could be interesting it's a pretty slow seller I would personally skip this if you go to the 30 days here I'm only seeing about 10 sales here um, but it looks like it's that same brand so it could be another high high profit product so this one's gonna be about 750 after the coupon and then over here we're gonna be selling it for um, about $20 uh, it looks like in the past it sells pretty pretty fast at seven dollars um, and it kind of sold at 14 so maybe uh, at twenty dollars it's not really gonna sell but you're doubling your money there so maybe let's say we knock the price to uh, 16 we might see an increase in sales volume and then you're still making 50% ROI 22% margin um, this product could be interesting to go ahead and knock the price down to generate more volume um, and then that could in the long run inc increase the profits that you'd make on this listing um, that's actually not a bad play. I would do that if I didn't already film this So if anyone wants to go ahead and give that a try you're more than welcome to try these products out too. maybe lower that product Maybe they lower the uh, the price to $16 and then you could sell through it pretty quickly. I bet um, We're just gonna keep sourcing here um, This Keepa looks a little weird um, But we're just gonna go ahead and see it looks like this starts to say two pack here at the end uh, two pieces yeah, this is probably be a two pack here. Yeah, because it's twenty dollars. This one's about ten dollars, so it makes sense that that would be a two pack there. Um, we're just gonna keep going. Let's see what we got here. We've got sixty tablets. I'm usually check for tablets or uh, product count ounces, that kind of thing when I'm sourcing, um, and it looks the same. So here we've got one hundred and twenty tablets. So this is not a match. Um, I also use a Chrome extension called IP Alert right here. Um, this little green check tells me that this brand probably doesn't file IP complaints. Let me see if I can scroll through here and find one that uh, it's warning me about. Yeah, so right here we've got this one right here, this Pixie brand. Um, well, it was warning me, so maybe not. Uh, but you can see this little uh, this siren right here. 
Uh, with IP Alert, it'll tell you if that brand has filed a um, IP complaint against another seller who's also using IP Alert. And there's a pretty good amount of people who use IP Alert, so it's kind of like a like a crowdsourced um, protection against those IP violations. Um, so another thing I'm looking for when I'm sourcing here, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Let's just start right here. Is to make sure that this buy box price on tactical arbitrage makes sense, matches up with the Keepa. Um, that's another good way to root out um, any false leads you might have. Um, let's see if I can find an example here. Um, they're sort of rare, but I've, I've seen them come up from time to time where uh, the tactical arbitrage will pull a really high price on the Keepa graph. So let's say it pulls, um, let's say it pulls this price right here on this blue line. Um, when in reality, it's pretty usually it's usually selling right here on this line at like twenty dollars. But tactical arbitrage might think it's selling for thirty. Um, so if these buy boxes don't match up with what the keeper tells you right here, that's also going to save you from clicking through the listing um, and having that disappointment of not being able to buy that product. Um, just because these prices, you can see how the sales volume in this case goes up like um, pretty significantly when the price increased and then it goes back down when the price is where it should actually be. So if you're buying this, counting on it selling for $30, uh, you might have a rude awakening when it sells for this $20 price. Um, and looking at the Keepa graph and comparing the buy box here is just a good way to save you some clicks. So I feel like this could be uh, useful. I'm just going to go ahead and um, look through a couple more products, um, give you my live um, kind of feedback on why I would or would not buy this product. So we're going to check this one out here. It looks like a shampoo. It's got a uh, pretty uh, fluctuating Keepa chart, which I don't love. So it's in stock. We're, we're looking at 11 ounces. Over here we've got 11 ounces. Make sure they're the same product. Looks like they are. And it looks like it's selling for eleven seventy six. If we're buying it for like six dollars after the coupon, this is probably not going to be a good flip. But I can prove it to you by running this profit calculation here. Yeah. So let's say we pay like six dollars after tax and everything, we're going to be losing a dollar. Um, something you also want to think about with sourcing products like this is if it's going to need a poly bag, you should consider how much the time to poly bag that item is worth. Whether you're doing it yourself, you should probably have it um, factor that even more. Or if you're paying someone to prep it, make sure that you are um, factoring that in in your costs. Um, just because you don't want to have the same criteria for an item that's going to require more work to send into the warehouse. So I usually require another couple percentage ROI or profit margin um, to go ahead and buy a product that needs polybagging. Just to make sense for that extra uh, labor to be involved in uh, packaging that product up. So let's check a couple more here. Looks like we've got um, these products. These pictures don't super match here, but it could be the same product. Uh, looks like we're out of stock. Don't even have to worry about it. Um, just just for the heck of it, it looks like this product usually sells for $22. Um, sometimes if the product is out of stock, um, the Amazon listing will be uh, super profitable because people are having problems uh, buying it, so they only they can only buy it from Amazon. And so it's worth it to go ahead and uh, type your email address into these sometimes, um, into these notify me tabs. Uh, I get emails from Walmart and stores like that telling me that a product that I liked is in stock, and those are some pretty uh, those are fun emails because then I get to go spend on pretty profitable product that was uh, hard to get, and then you just want to buy as much as makes sense in those cases. Um, maybe a little more than your usual. I typically buy inventory for about six weeks at a time, but if that happens, I'll buy for eight to ten weeks. So we're going to go ahead and check out another couple products here. This Kiba graph kind of scares me. It tells me that people are willing to pay ten dollars, but they're not willing to pay this thirty dollar price point. We're going to check out this one here. This looks like uh, the Keepa has gone a little awry. So here's a good example of this buy box thing that I was talking about. So Tactile Arbitrage pulled a buy box of $29 here. But if you look at the Keepa, you can pretty quickly tell that this is not a $29 product because as soon as it stopped selling for $15, the sales volume went up pretty significantly to the point where it's not going to see the same quantity of sales. Looks like it was still selling fairly decently. It stayed in the 80,000 sales rank at uh, that $20 price point. So we can go ahead and check out the price here. Um, so this would be about 12 something after the coupon. Um, on the Amazon listing, let's see if this is a good product. 
maybe sell and maybe see if we could sell it uh, up here at 22 um, but at the end of the day I just really don't like how long it's been for sale for uh, 1550 um, at any point it could come back down like it did back here how it was up and profitable for like uh, a week two weeks and then it just became like this for a long long time and you'd be stuck under some pretty unprofitable inventory you'd either have to take a loss or pay the storage fees on that and just hope that the price goes back up again in the future sometime so I hope you found this video useful I kind of dived into some tricks that I use personally uh, to get through tactical arbitrage faster because that's the name of the game the faster you can get through these uh, data pages the, the more money you're gonna make the faster you can find those products that are gonna generate uh, 50 100 200 dollars a month and you just stack on those 200 our products every month um, and once you've got you know 10 to 20 of those that's you're looking at a pretty decent uh, side income or, or main income if you're just getting started out in OA I have an OA tracking spreadsheet that helps you um, calculate your costs I've got a, uh, an Excel formula of sorts to help you figure out your true costs when you consider uh, cash back and coupons and all that kind of stuff um, and your prep costs uh, I've also got a couple uh, tracking pages for uh, making sure your inventory is uh, properly bookkeeped um, you can type those numbers into inventory lab or whatever as you are um, sourcing so that you once you are listing your products um, you're not counting the number of bottles you ordered um, you'll just reference your spreadsheet I ordered this many bottles and this many units you're just gonna plug that into your listing software rather than having to count and figure out what you paid later I found that to be a good time saver in my workflow um, and that spreadsheet's gonna be below on my website for free but that's gonna do it for this video guys if you found some value feel free to like comment subscribe all that good stuff helps me out with the algorithm uh, but that's gonna do it thanks guys